why were the Stones so out there? That really all focused on this guy, Brian Jones. You think of the Rolling Stones in the mid 60s and you think of Brian Jones. You don't think of Mick Jagger. You certainly don't think of Keith Richards. Brian Jones is like, he's the perfect British rock star. He's the first English rock star with the most, perhaps the best look that ever been of, a, of any British rock star. He was a major player in the 1960s, fashion-wise, attitude-wise. He was the one who was the friend of John Lennon, the friend of Jimi Hendrix. Although they were five individuals, you sort of knew that he was the governor. His reputation wasn't very good. He wasn't interested in settling down to doing any work. Just wanted to party, 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 and make love to as many girls as he possibly could. A naughty boy, really. Was. He had an incredible insight into people, an almost devilish inside. You know, his drug taking was obvious. He was a, a, a victim, an easy prey for for the police and for the establishment. So sorry, sir, but here we have a warrant to search these premises for drugs. It was a plot to get rid of the Rolling Stones once and for all. And he rang me the evening, sadly, that he died. Of course, it wasn't until years later that, that people started making conspiracy theories about his death, you know. It's wrong that a man's death could be ignored and the truth be hidden so the establishment could play politics with drug culture on the back of that man's death. That's wrong.